Let's look at this demo. I'm going to run this and look at the chat app has appeared. And let me ask a few questions to the chat app. For example, I'm saying hi and I'm going to hit on send. It replied me, how can I help you? What if I'm saying hello? Is it going to give me some reply? Yes. Hi, how can I help you? What if I say howdy? You can see any different words that you enter to this app. It does understand what to respond. Let's say let me type how are you? If I hit on send, this app says I'm bot have no emotions. Great. Let me ask how can you help me? If I hit on send, it says I'm currently learning and will try to assist you best of my ability. Hey guys, you have seen the demo how the bot is able to respond to all different kinds of questions coming from the user. Let it be hi, hello, howdy. It can respond to various different forms of input. This is the foundation to create a bot which is artificial intelligent. Let's see how this entire bot can be designed using simple Python code. So let's see what we have learned in the previous video. In the previous video, we have seen when I run the bot and try to type something, the text of mine was coming in a given color and the text of the bot was coming in a given color. Okay, so this is what we have done in our last video. But again, the replies that are coming from the bot has been hard coded that always it replies the same thing. Doesn't matter what you type. It was always replying the same thing, right? So today we will make it more intelligent and see how it can reply to various different things in a different way. So let's see that how to do it. Now, first of all, this is a huge topic. You can't develop the artificial intelligent app just within a few minutes of the video. But again, it will give you the foundation of how you can design it. Okay, that is more important. So today we will see if somebody says hi, hello, howdy, whatsapp, right? All of these things, namaste. For different, different inputs coming from the user, how the bot can respond to different, different inputs is something we will intelligently develop within this foundation video of designing an intelligent app, chat app. Okay. Now, first of all, for this, the technique that is generally used is we will create a list with different inputs. Okay. So I'm going to define that. Define keywords for greetings. Okay. Various different keywords we have for greetings. So let me write something called greetings equals to and within the square bracket I'm going to mention. For example, one of the greeting is hi. I'm everything I'm writing in lowercase. Okay. Hi. Then I'm saying people can also say hello, right? Even hello is another way. So let's say hello. Let's say somebody says all different words. Let's say somebody saying namaste. That is also another word. Like that you can think of different words. Let's say somebody saying what's up. Okay. So this is also another word. Let's say somebody saying howdy. This is also another word. Like that you can think of different ways people can do a greetings, right? Um, and then what? Um, hi, hello, namaste, what's up. So you can think of different words. So for the moment, I'm just keeping it limited. So these many different words, if user is typing, it should be able to respond to the user if these words are there. Now to enable this, we have to write a logic in the display text where it was inserting the data. So here we have hard coded the data. Hi, how can I help you? This is a hard coded data. Uh, but again, whatever you type, how are you? If you type, it will still respond. How, how can I help you? Okay. So this is a hard coded entry. So we have to make some logic here. So to learn the logic, first of all, you need to be aware of a very important thing called if any. Okay. There is something called if any. How that works, let me show you. For example, I am going to create few words. Okay. I am creating a list variable of words. And inside that, let me keep A. And then let me keep B. Let me keep C. Let me keep 
B, let me keep E. Okay, A, B, C, D, E are the different words contained in the variable called words. I am going to write something called if any, if any, look, look at this, this is very important how it works. First of all, I would like to loop through this words. So I am writing 4x in words and before that I am saying x, x in user. So what we will do before I write this, let us ask a user or input. Okay. For example, I am saying here I am saying user input. So here I am saying user input just a second. Okay. User input equals to and here I am going to ask the user to enter some input. I am saying uh, enter a word or enter a character or enter something. Okay, enter something. So the user is going to enter something over here. Once the user enters something, it comes to the user input variable. Here what I am saying x in user input. That means look at this now. Words contains what? A, B, C, D, E. Here I am saying you loop through that word. So to loop through first it will come A, B, C, D, E. Now what contains that A, B, C, D while it is looping? X is the variable which will hold that value. Now here we are checking. Let's say first time A came. We are checking A. Is it present in user input? Let's say the user is typing something. Okay. So we are saying is it present? We want to know either it's true or false. Is it present or not? True or false. Okay. So this line provides us the output true or false. Let me show you. For example, if it is present, I am going to print present. Okay. Now, else I am going to print not present. Not present. Okay. It's done. So now if I am going to run this specific code, look at it, what's going to happen. So before you run it, let me in the PyCharm, let me select that uh, test py and then run it. Okay, so here it is asking me enter something. Let me type, uh, let's say Rakesh. Okay, now if I am typing Rakesh, now in this A is present, in this word E is also present, yes or no? So, for example, if I hit enter, it says present. So, some of the words are present, what the user has typed. Some of the alphabets are present, what user has typed. Now, let me run it again. Uh, let's say I am going to type everything in capital. Hit on enter. So, not present. So, it is only recognizing lower cases. What I will do, here I am going to write something called lower. However, the user is typing, convert it to lower and check. Simple. Now, this logic is very important in the line number 4. If I am going to click on run and let's say I am going to type everything in capital. Let's say I am typing X, A, B. I am typing something. Okay. Now here if you see A and B and C, three things are present. So if I am going to uh, hit on enter, what would happen? It says present. It is converting everything into lowercase and then comparing that. So remember this, if any X in user input, this is the technique we are going to use in the chat app. So that's why my intention was to teach you this, how it is working, will move. So you understood, right? So it is looping through what you have defined in the words. X is taking one one word and seeing, checking whether in the user input, whether it is present or not. X in user input. That's simple. Using this technique, we will start writing the code in the main chat app. So let me change it to automate with Rakesh. And here, let's start writing. So here we have hard coded what I'm going to do. I am going to delete this and I have written something called user input is equal to user input dot lower it automatically going to convert it to lowercase. Now let's write the same condition what we have learned. What are the condition that we have learned? We have to write if, if, okay, look at it, if, what, if any, the same thing will go x in user input, okay, user input for x in greetings you remember greetings is a variable that we have created which contains all of our words hi hello namaste what's up howdy so it contains all of these words so i'm saying if it is present then what you do you reply to the user 
and where will you be replying display text is the box where you will be sending your reply so i am saying display text display text dot insert anytime you would like to show something right so i'm saying insert and where would you like to insert at the end done and then what you would like to reply bot will reply right so i'm saying bot space hi it should reply hi how can i help you okay it is replying hi how can i help you yeah all right so this is what we are writing and then we have also created a tag you remember we have created a tag called bot here so here we can see the tag was created right for the bot we it's supposed to reply in dark green and for the user it should reply in dark blue so this tags i'm just using on the top okay so here i'm saying bot and every time it replies you should you know it should reply below so i'm writing uh, backwards slash n okay so this much is understood now let's move on let's write else else the bot should just reply i am not sure how to answer the same thing i'll copy paste and here just i'm going to change this sentence not sure not sure how to reply okay simple very simple now let's see we are going to make a little more advancement to this i'm going to run this now okay so the app has appeared let me use any of those words we have used like let's say i'm saying hi and hitting on send so it's saying hi how can you how can you how can i write okay so i have written a wrong sentence how can i how can i help you okay sorry so let me run it okay so if i say hi and going to hit on send saying how can i help you now look at this there will be certain problems here for example hello and i'm hitting on enter and i'm writing like this hello hello and then uh, see what happened here it's saying uh, user do you see hello hello user then it's saying bot hi how can so it is not coming properly reason being when you have let's say i'm typing hi and i'm giving some space here and hitting on send you can see all the spaces are also coming so we have to strip it okay we need to remove that okay uh, so for that here is the user input right so i'm going to write something called strip strip function so it removes that white space and you know, all of that okay and here there is a problem user input user is a tag okay so if user is a tag uh, i don't need this sign i'm done with this i'll just put a comma here so it will act like a tag so this is also a problem let's run it now let me say namaste hit on send uh, namaste bot hi how can i help you so there is no space all you can do put a slash n here so how will you put a slash n is by writing a plus sign and then using a slash n and putting all of this in a quote okay so let's redefine with some slash n and use on okay so now let me run it and if i say hi send you can see uh, it is nicely replying let's say hi i'm giving a space here hitting on send it is replying let me say namaste send let me type something else it says not sure how to reply getting it so it has got bit of intelligence but we still have to develop a lot of things to make it really intelligent now let's because this is a foundation we will slowly learn okay let us write something else okay what if i'm going to say else if else if if let's say customer is typing how are you if the user is typing how are you uh, how to how to do that so i'm saying else if and here i am saying in double quote if the word contains how are you writing everything in lower case okay so i have to say how are you present in user input right that is the condition uh, in user if it is present in user input then it should reply bot i am doing good how are you or the bot should say something like uh, i am a bot the bot doesn't have emotions it does not have emotions all right so let's see how this is coming if i run it so you got the logic how the logic is built that is important 
now let's say I'm saying hi it knows how to reply now if I am saying how are you let's see if it is if it knows to reply and um, so it's saying how are you it is saying not sure how to reply why okay because I put a colon symbol here right so let's remove that so like likewise you know you need to keep experimenting and keep improving more like a job of a prompt engineer you keep improving it so let's say hi I'm going to say how are you return sent I'm a bot does not have emotion so it has come right so likewise you got the hint or the flavor of how a bot can be made intelligent so all you have to do you have to keep improving this user in for example here we have got greetings right in greetings I have kept multiple different words similar way for example if the bot has to reply I'm a bot does not have emotions now people might come in multiple forms how are you what are you uh, and then they might ask um, you know do you have emotions so different different questions for it so you can create a list of such keywords so any of the keywords the same logic that we have applied for the greeting the same thing can be applied even for a longer word containing multiple words so if it contains the combination of those words then it should reply so this can be done in a more intelligent way which we are going to learn as we progress not immediately but as we progress so right now you will be able to with the logic that I have taught with this logic you will be able to design a basic intelligent app not a simple app but an intelligent app which can respond to various different forms of words or sentences sent to it all right guys so thank you so much for watching we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye Thank you.